Okay. So uh, in last episode, we have completed CRUD operation with template form. Now, same thing, the user component, what we did, we are going to do with the reactive form. So when we talk about Angular, in Angular, we have two types of form, template and the reactive. Template means where you use ng model to bind the variables with the HTML element, right? And another is the reactive form. So when we say most of the time, uh, reactive form gets used mostly, you can say, because there are so many things like dynamic validation, dynamic unable, disabled, dynamic controls, how to create dynamic form. So many things are there which are by their default and we don't have to write the custom code. So it's so rich and it's a little bit hard to understand also because it has so many functionalities also. Fine. So we are going to discuss on the same. Again, the component I have created that is reactive user, the HTML I have copy pasted from the user, the previous episode only. So you can see the user gate API only I have done. Now, here we are going to do the CRUD operation for the, in case of the reactive form. Fine. Let me just open, or we already know the API. Let me open the user API first. Sorry, not this one, the API. project API, then bus booking and the add new user. Fine. Oh no, let me check what was the API we were using. Gold tracker, okay. Uh, gold tracker. Register user, fine. So this is our object with what we are going to register. Now, in the template form, we created an object of this, but now in reactive form, things are a little bit different. Fine, let's see those now dot ts dot html now this is the object what we need to send to the api so what we do we have to create a reactive form before using reactive form uh, in template form if you have to use ng model we used to import forms module just like that if you were to use reactive form you need to import reactive form module so reactive form module you need to import this is the first thing you will do then you need to create the reactive form let's say user form data type will be form group round bracket sorry form group is equal to new form group like this you initial like this you create your form wait something is missing sorry yeah so this is your reactive form now you create a normal variable inside that variable what you are storing form group and you are initializing that now inside this form group, what are the object you have? What are the fields you have? Those are nothing but your control. So user ID. Inside that user ID colon new form control. Okay. Now user ID is our primary key. So by default, we have to initialize this zero. So zero comma. Then second, again, we have to go to the API, see what property name we have email ID. Again, new form control. And we will initialize with empty because this is a string value, right? So whatever the initialization you have to do that you will do it inside this round bracket. So these are your nothing but control. This is your whole, this is your form. Inside that form, you are saying like these are the controls. Like that, password. Again, new form control, same thing will be there. So I'm copy pasting now. Then full name. Then again, full name is our string only. So we will copy paste this. And the last one is mobile number. So mobile name is again string only. So we will copy paste this also over there. So this is how your reactive form looks like. You will create a form group. And inside that form group, whatever the controls you have that you will create. And the default value you will initialize over here. Okay. Remaining are string, so I'm going with empty. User ID is our primary key, so empty. Uh, initialize with zero. This is first step. So in react in template form, we used to create the object. Now in the reactive form, we have to create the form group. Fine. Now, so in HTML, we have this form. Whenever you are working with the reactive form, make sure you have a form tag also. Okay. So now in our card body, we will add a form tag. It's not mandatory, but it's a good practice to have a form tag. In template also, you can use this practice, but in template, sometimes we skip it. Fine. Now, so we have added a form tag. Now the reactive form means our user form. This we need to bind to our form. So that by using form group is equal to our form name. So that is user form will go over here. 
So what we have done, we have created a reactive form, but this form we have binded with this HTML form. Now on every element in template form, we used to use ng model, but here you have to use form controller name is equal to double quote. And here you just need to provide the controller name. So just email ID like that on the password also same thing form control name is equal to password like that you need to do because our form name we have already defined at the top right so now here just you just need to bind the control name last one mobile number our always copy paste okay don't assume and don't uh, write it always copy paste because you there is a chance that you might make the spelling mistake fine so what we did first we imported you know, first we imported reactive form then we created the form according to the api object and then we bind that form using form group attribute on the form level then on every element you have used form controller name now on click of save click on save user Right, let's create, create this function. Now here, for the API call, when we are hitting the post API, we need to pass the object. But now here we have the form. So from, by using the form, we can extract the object also, fine. So this dot HTTP, let me just write the API call first, dot post, or let's copy paste also. We have already done that in the template form where it is yeah on save user let's copy let's paste it over here on save user fine now here in the template form we were passing that object but now here we don't have any object but what do we have form we have so we can extract the object from that also constant form value just a local variable i'm creating so this dot user form dot value so this will give you the object and then this object you can pass it over here as a parameter let's see now that's it that's the simple setup of your reactive form let's try now let's check the console we don't have any error means everything is proper let's say test 44 at the rate gmail.com password 223344 full name Test 44 mobile number just a dummy mobile number I'm adding now we have debugger on also on click of save so see if I hover on this value you see we got the object if you hover on the user form there's there are so many things but what we need value just the object so see you got the object whatever the data you filled into the respective form that you got in the respective control so you got the val form object means object you got now you are you can make the api call continue see record got created okay so this is what reactive form is it's very simple this is again basic again i will be uh, one more part i will be creating where i will be covering the advanced because in as i said Nagi, in reactive form we have so many things we can create dynamic control also we can add dynamic validation we can enable disable from the form level only so many things are there validations also are very dynamic fine so this is very basic right first you import the reactive form you create the reactive form you bind it and you how do you get the value so reactive this your form name dot value that's how you get the object and that object you will pass it to the api that's it so this is your reactive form okay i hope you are able to understand what i'm explaining again i'm not going so many deep considering like everyone is fresher or even though you are fresher or experienced, you should understand it. So I'm keeping it very basic level so that everyone will be able to relate. Fine. Again, some code I have just copy pasted because in the previous episode, we have already de designed this UI. So that's why I have copy pasted. That's the changes I have explained. Fine. So that's it. Again, now we have completed template form and the reactive form. So now I have to cover the validation because in template and the reactive validation is almost similar. Little bit difference we have. But the way how we you do the validation is almost same. Fine. Thank you. Again, in the video description, you will find a link of my WhatsApp group. You can join that and you can directly connect with me with your queries also. Fine. Thank you.